I didn't do this, I'd be out uh, drinking and chasing women, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> I know that, that going around a corner at 90 miles an hour as fast as you can possibly go, pulling enough G's to make all your organs stick on the outside of your body, that's probably the coolest feeling I've ever felt in my entire life. <laughs> Five years old, I built a helicopter out of a rector set, you know, and uh, had the, the blade and everything. I'd go around, I'd whack all my mom's plant leaves off, you know, just, and then after I got done with that, she made me take it apart. I'd build a big semi truck. I started designing this in May. I worked from 6 o'clock p.m. until 2 in the morning, five days a week, um, all summer, and had a, uh, a rolling chassis by the time school started. See, this car is a, is, a, is a combination of a lot of little things. Like, we didn't, you know, the frame isn't some sort of uh, evolutionary, you know, oh my gosh, we just figured out, you know, the, the holy grail of, of chassis. I incorporated adjustable roll center, which is just a, a suspension parameter, um, to see if we could make things faster, which we never had before. You know, there's always those little things that you're just, you're just mad about. We need to do that different next year, and they never get done. This car is, is that. If I was in their position, you know, I'd be looking at a bunch of, well, in our case, a bunch of hillbilly rednecks that, you know, just run around with our, our, uh, our heads cut off, you know. But, you know, we've been able to produce a pretty quality piece, and they, they kind of see that. These are done by Kay's Engineering. It starts off as a big billet of aluminum, which is that right there. We cut it, machine it till it's round. We send it to them, and they cut all the stuff out of a, on a lathe. And then the second process is they send it to a mill and they cut all these pockets out and that's what the differential gears go in. That's what actually makes the wheels turn basically. We sent them some material and they messed it up. The, their tool locked or something and one of the holes was out of specification. And they didn't even blink an eye. They said, well, we're going to make it right and they, they machined them, three of them, just to, to our spec. So um, the support that we get from companies and the school is just phenomenal. Probably the coolest thing that the college offers, in my opinion. I don't see anything else in this campus. I mean, you think uh, this beats out Tiger Gen? Uh, well, oh, that's a tough question. Uh, what I'll say about that is we go fast, and they don't. What advice would you have for a student considering joining a competition team? Think really, really hard about the amount of time that you want to spend on something like this. Between classes you you know you be down here and the only way that you really get the full effect of what this thing has to offer is is by being here all the time. Hands-on application really has a uh, <laughs> really has a, uh, a benefit you know if you can if you have the ability to have, to be hands-on you know think that way that always helps too but we have people that uh, that Trevor get a video of this he's been a jerk <laughs> oh, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How interdisciplinary is the formula car team? First off, okay. interdisciplinary means... <laughs> <laughs> I know what it means. Anybody, really well, anybody that wants to put in the time that can work on it can, and be you successful have, at it. You have Maria, who's not even an engineer, that's on the team that contributes a lot. Yeah, Maria Holt is a business major and she's... I mean, if we didn't have her, we'd, we'd fall apart. We need women. We need pretty girls. <laughs> And what can pretty girls do for the team? Get a lot more guys down here. Yep. <laughs> as far as I can tell, lots of guys come down here anyway. Yeah, yeah. We're pretty we're, we're well rounded, I'd say. Or is it like the cool mechanical? Mm -hmm. Won't have any civils. How old civils? They make targets. We go fast. Yeah, but mechanical engineers. <laughs> we spend our whole careers trying to figure out how to make stuff faster or better or stronger. That's exciting.